So, I almost died. What is going on guys? So we're gonna go ahead and talk about an accident that occurred last week for my top single on bench press. I believe this was on the 13th of March. So it's almost been a week since the accident. I posted on Instagram and asked if you guys wanted to see the full video because I only posted a picture of it because it is quite gruesome. So this video is to show exactly what happened that day. So, I went to a different gym, I went to a friend's gym, actually a client's gym, uh, and yeah, things did not go as planned. Honestly, I felt very good warming up, the weight felt immensely light, lighter than usual, but that could be just because I went from training with calibrated plates to standard steel plates, so I kept that in the back of my head and decided that I would be somewhat conservative depending on how the weight felt. And again, like I said, it was feeling great. So one plate moved, two plate moved, two and a half moved, 315 moved, and I'll go ahead and show that right now. So 315 moved really well at about an RPE 6 and the week prior I moved 345 at around 8. The pause could have been slightly better but again it was an 8. So I didn't want to make a small jump prior to my top set so I decided to just go for it and I put on 355. Again steel plates not calibrated and I was again I was feeling great my setup was very good considering I went from a fat pad to a standard competition style bench um, so the unrack was great it didn't feel heavy and that's usually your first sign that something is going to move the way you want it or a little harder than what you want it to move so the unrack was great as I was descending the bar to my chest or my sternum I was in full control of it, so in my head I was thinking, I got this, there is no way that I'm not going to get this. And off the press, I felt that my right arm, shoulder, just the right side of my body, completely lost all the tension. And boom, it fell back down. Luckily, my friend Brian was there spotting me, and thanks to him, I'm still alive. So huge shout out to you, and of course, huge shout out to all the other guys that came to save me and take the bar off me. Uh, Edgardo, uh, Callan, thank you guys again. So what exactly happened? Um, fortunately, the collar uh, that was holding the, the plates was a little loose. And off the press, I, I kept going back with the, uh, looking at the footage over and over and over again, and I noticed that my elbow shifted forward, and it pitched my wrist back, so the bar naturally went back. And that completely eliminated all the strength that I had uh, from just stacking the weight on my elbow, and it was done. That was it. As soon as my elbow pitched forward, the bar rolled forward, and that was it. So, it wasn't a strength issue, it wasn't that I just wasn't ready, it wasn't, it wasn't necessarily a misgroove, but then again it was. But yeah, that was basically it. Again, I'm happy to be alive, and it's, you know, looking back in hindsight, I'm a little bit disappointed that I wasn't able to get it because I knew it was there, but luckily we got to look at the big picture and be grateful that we're still alive and to be quite honest with you I'm perfectly fine there's no psychological scar here and there because the next day I had bench again and that went really well so <laughs> I guess I just wanted to share this bit of a experience with you all should this ever happen to anyone or ha if this has ever happened to anyone 
the best thing you can do is look at what happened and make sure that it never happens again. So always check your collars, always check the bench. These little things add up in the grand scheme of maximal weight. So that's it guys. I wanted to share this experience with you all and hopefully provide you all with some insight on what you should do prior to uh, loading up on a daily max or a max in general. Always look at the little, the little determining factors because they will add up. And that's it for this video. If you guys have any comments or any questions, of course, post them down below. Share this with anyone that you think will benefit from the watching from the video. Don't even know what to say anymore. Uh, but yeah, that's it, guys. Catch you guys later.